Hi everyone, it's Jellica here from aprefix.com and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make these super cute DIY macrame bookmarks using just one knot. Let's get into it. These are the supplies you'll need. Tape. I recommend painter's tape because it doesn't leave a sticky residue, but any tape that you've got on hand will absolutely be fine. For this project, I used three millimeter macrame cord, specifically single twist string. For the base, I am using an off-white, three cords measuring about eight or nine inches each. And for the colored portion, I'm also using three millimeter macrame cord, single twist string, and I'll show you how to pre-measure it. It'll all depend on the actual size of your paper clip. You'll also need a large eye needle. I used a bent tip needle as well as a jumbo paper clip and a wire comb or a pet comb. You'll also need some all-purpose glue and optionally you can get this fabric stiffening spray. I'll show you how to use it at the end. And of course, a pair of scissors. Now for your work surface, I recommend a basic clipboard with a straight edge clip, which will secure your project. Okay, so let's begin with grabbing hold of our jumbo paper clip. And depending on the side you wanna use, this side I'm going to be slipping into the book. So I'm going to be using that side to secure all of my knots. So first thing you'll do is you'll be attaching each cord to that end of the paper clip using what's called a lark's head knot. So grabbing one of your cords, fold it in half, and slip the looped end into your paper clip. Then feed the tail end through the loop, tighten, creating your first lark's head knot. Now simply attach the other two cords in the exact same manner, attaching them using a lark's head knot. Tighten the knots as needed, and then you're gonna to wanna to prepare to secure your paper clip. Grabbing a piece of tape, attach it to the paper clip, making sure that it is right along the top of the knots that you've just created. Then slide it underneath the clip of the clipboard, and then begin to adhere the tape to the clipboard as well as the paper clip. This will do two things. It'll protect your paper clip from the sharp edge of the clip itself, as well as prevent the knots from sliding around the actual paper clip. Grabbing your other macrame cord, you're going to measure the length that you need. Now for this project, we're going to be creating four rows of knots. And depending on the actual width of your paper clip, you're gonna be measuring the length that you need as follows. So first you're going to leave off a long tail around three or four inches. For the first row of knots, you're going to want to measure approximately double the width of those dangling cords. Or another way to look at it is you're going to want to use double the width of the paper clip itself. So if the paper clip you're using is one inch wide, then measure at least two inches for each row. And I would recommend over measuring. So that's row two, row three, and row four. And then you should be left with approximately three, four, inches at the end. I've got a little more than I need, but I always like to err on the side of caution. So we're going to begin by attaching our first knot. For those of you who are new to macrame, the knots that we're going to be using are called double half hitch knots. Taking the end of your colored cord, place it underneath the first two white cords, and then tape that end down. Loading that first double half hitch knot requires a little finesse, so I highly recommend this for beginners. Next, place the rest of that colored cord over top of those first two cords, creating a D shape. Now to create your first knot, you're going to then feed the colored cord underneath those first two cords and then through the loop. Pull on the long end to tighten the loop and then push the knot up to the top. 
you've just created your first half hitch knot. For the next knot, you're going to be creating another one directly below the first one. That's why it's called a double half hitch knot. So place the colored cord over top of those first two cords, just as you did before, feeding it underneath and then through the loop and then pull your cord through the loop. Then gently begin to tighten and then secure that knot directly below the first one. This is your first double half hitch knot. If you're a beginner, then just make sure that your knots have relatively the same tension, just so your project is relatively even throughout. Now you can remove that tape so it doesn't tug on the project as you create your next set of knots. For your next set of double half hitch knots, just as before, you're going to want to place the colored cord underneath the two off-white cords and then place the rest of the colored cord over top of those two cords. Creating your D shape, you're going to then tuck the cord through the loop, pull through, tighten, creating the top portion of your double half hitch knot. As before, create the next half hitch knot underneath, creating that D shape, a loop, and then feeding the rest of that cord through the loop. If you're brand new to macrame, then when you're creating double half hitch knots, sometimes the knot, which ideally is formed behind the piece, slides to the side of the piece. And this is what's happening here. So I'm just gonna share a little tip on how to avoid that, or at least have these knots show through as least as possible. All you have to do is simply lift the cords and kind of tighten behind them just to kind of shift that knot to the back instead of having it face the front. Just a little pro tip there. Okay, moving on to the last double half hitch knot in that row. Repeat the process, creating that D shape, feeding the macrame cord through the loop and tightening the knot at the top. And then you can complete your double half hitch knot by creating your second knot stacked below. And don't forget to tighten just a little bit towards the back. Now you've created your first row of double half hitch knots, or in other words, two rows of single half hitch knots. To create your second row going in the opposite direction, you're going to be creating knots the exact same way, but it'll be a mirror image of the first row. So taking that colored macrame cord, tuck it underneath the two cords on the far right, create that loop, but instead of creating a D, it'll be the mirror image of the D. Making sure that the colored cord is placed over top of those two cords as before. Then wrap it underneath and then through the loop, pull and tighten to create the knot. Now you want to complete the double half hitch knot by creating one more knot underneath in the exact same way. And don't forget to tuck that knot towards the back. Now simply continue creating two more sets of double half hitch knots to complete your row. Your pattern and positioning should be something similar to mine, which is a bit of a U shape to match that paper clip. If not, you can always uh, tighten and tuck in the ends. Now you can remove the tape from the paper clip and then turn the paper clip over because we're going to be weaving in those long colored cords. So grab your large eye needle. I'm using a bent tip needle. I find it easy to weave in ends to the back of your piece because of that bent tip, it kind of gets underneath the cords easily. Grabbing one of your cords, thread your needle, and then find 
one of the cords along the back, not the first one, you're going to skip that and move on to maybe the second one and simply weave that end into the piece. I would be very gentle at this stage because your bookmark is relatively fragile and so you just don't want to be pulling and tugging too much. So I just gently pull using my fingers at the end. And then you can always flip it over and just check the other side, making sure that you haven't pulled too tightly, which can slightly deform um, your piece. Then you're going to thread your needle again and do the same thing. Make sure to bypass the first knot there and maybe go for the second knot. Make sure to get right underneath it without, you know, breaking up the fibers. And then weave that end through very gently. To secure each of those loose cords, I'm going to be using a all purpose glue here. So simply lift it up very gently and get between it and the knots below and add a good dollop, press down on it and then repeat the process for the next one. I don't always use glue, but in this case, because I've only woven each of those cords underneath one knot, um, because it's such a small surface to work with, I do recommend adding a dab of glue just to secure it a bit more. And then just snip off the ends. At this stage, the macrame will actually slide around, so I would recommend adding two more dabs of glue just along the top right where the fibers meet the paper clip itself. And again, just kind of go all the way around and then you can remove any excess with your fingers or um, a toothpick or anything, you know, whatever suits you. Now it's time to shape the ends in any way that you want. Um, I chose to just do an angle cut on this. I think it's really, really cute, but um, you can do a straight cut, a rounded cut, whatever you think um, you really like. You can even leave the ends as is, or you can take your wire comb and comb it out as I did here. I really love this kind of fringy look. You can leave it deconstructed like this, or you can even go back again and refine the cut a little bit once you've combed it all out and all the fibers have sort of spread around. And then you can go in and do a sharp angled cut. Now this is the final look of your macrame bookmark. It is so adorable. Um, you just need about an hour to let the glue dry. If you do love your macrame to be soft and pliable, then you can leave it as is. But because this is a bookmark, if you do want it to keep its shape, um, you'll be handling it a lot, then I might suggest this fabric stiffening spray. It's really, really great. And I use it on this particular bookmark. And you can see how much it sort of keeps its shape regardless of what you do with it, shake it about. Um, and so I really, really quite like this. So if you want your bookmark to retain its shape, then I might suggest um, you try this fabric stiffening spray. You just follow the instructions and uh, spray it on both sides and then shape it with your fingers as well um, before you let it set. And usually it dries within about an hour and then you can go back in comb out the ends or cut it as you wish. You can even spray it twice if you need to. Well, I really hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you need any source recommendations, I am leaving them all in the description box below. If you did enjoy the video, then please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. And until next time, everybody, happy crafting.